Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Dr. Therese Bright and Dr. Anthony Bright. Amen. We're here again today on with the series regarding you are blessed to be a blessing. Amen. Now, in this series, the what we're going to teach on today is you are blessed to be a blessing through through the Holy Spirit by pleasing God. Amen. Amen. Pleasing Him. Amen. Amen. We're going to worship the Lord. Amen. Father God, we worship you always. Lord Jesus, we worship you always. Holy Spirit, we worship you always. Help us keep on praising you always. Enjoyed that praise and worship Amen. to the good Lord. And the good uh, Lord. as we said earlier, this uh, topic today is you're blessed to be a blessing through the Holy Spirit, through pleasing by the through the Holy Spirit, pleasing God. Amen. Amen. And this part 11. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. How do we please God anyway? To please God is to delight. To bring him pleasure. To please God, hallelujah, is to cause him and speak kindly to him. To please God is to willingly obey him. To please the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, is to continue to yield, to respond, to cooperate with the blessed Holy Spirit. Not to frustrate him, not to resist him, not to vex him, Amen. not to uh, uh, displace him, but please the blessed Holy Spirit. And that's why you can be made a blessing to others. The blessing is manifested as we please the Holy Spirit. See, we have a tendency either to please ourselves or please the devil or please somebody else. No, we are supposed to please God. To please God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Because if you're a people pleaser, mm -hmm. that if you're a man pleaser, people pleaser, then that brings a snare to you as it says in Proverbs. Amen. Amen. So that you 
can't uh, obey God because you're so concerned or worried about what people are going to think. Mm -hmm. So therefore, we have to be mindful to please God always and not ourselves. That's how you surrender your life to the Lord and let Him use you, by pleasing Him always and obeying Him when He tells you things to do, not to dispute or despise or challenge God, but to willingly obey Him. Amen? Amen. And those who don't please God, they are insecure. See, we are made for God's pleasure. We are made to worship and bless God and please Him. That's our purpose here on earth. Not to please ourselves. Amen. Even though God gave us our own will, we are free will moral agent. We are called as a child of God to please the Father. Jesus pleased the Father. Let's read Romans and uh, John chapter 8. Okay. Verse 26. Jesus' example. He didn't come here to he didn't, he didn't come from heaven to please himself. He came to please the Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. And he's our example. So we're supposed to please the Holy Spirit so we can receive and enjoy the blessing he has for us. And the blessing can manifest. John 8, verse 26. I have many things to say and to judge you, but he that sent me is true. And I speak to the world those things which I have heard of him. Amen. They understood not that he spake to them of the Father. Verse 28, Then said Jesus unto them, When ye have lifted up the Son of Man, then shall ye know that I am he. And that I do nothing of myself, but as my Father has taught me, I speak these things. And he that sent me is with me. The Father has not left me alone, for I do always those things that please him. No, sometimes he does always things that please the Father. He surrendered His will. To please God, we have to surrender our will to the Amen. will of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. To please God, we have to cooperate with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. To please God, we have to go along with <coughs> what He tells us to do. To please God, hallelujah, praise the living God. This is how you can be intimate with God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You continue the fellowship, communion Amen. with the Father, the Holy Spirit by pleasing God the Father, God the Son, the Holy Spirit, by willingly obeying, not challenging, not contending the word, but surrendering, responding, cooperating, submissive. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. Amen. Yeah. Praise God. So now let's go to 1 John 3, 22 to 24. We're going to share more scriptures on this. Amen. 1 John 3, verse 22 to 24. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. So we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. Amen. And See? we're pleasing in his sight, so he sees everything that we do. Amen. So uh, when you're by yourself, you, you're not by yourself, because God sees everything that you do. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord sees everything and um, so therefore we want to do those things that are anytime that uh, we displease him we want to repent right away and get back on track so we want to do those things that are pleasing in his sight always amen, amen? amen. so it says and what sir we ask we receive him because we keep his commandments in those things and do those things that are pleasing in his sight so when we ask, we're going to receive because we're pleasing Him. Amen. But if we displease God, that means we're uh, sitting and He's not going to be able to answer our prayers because there's sin in our life. Amen. Amen. And we need to repent immediately. Don't sweep it under the carpet. Amen. Humble yourself. Ask God to forgive you. He's faithful and just yes. to forgive us our sin and yes. cleanse us from our unrighteousness. God is still forgiving people. But we have to repent and tell Him specifically what He did. And he will for specifically forgive you. Because he loves you. He cares for you. He's not mad at you. He's not willing that any should perish. But all to come to repentance. According to um, according to the book of Peter. Praise the living God. To first Peter chapter, Second Peter chapter 3 verse 9. God cares for you. He loves you. Hallelujah. He wants you to continue to please him. Not please him. And then skip. Skip here and skip here. He wants to please him continually. On a continual basis. Because God loves you. Hallelujah. Amen. See? And you have to deny yourself in order to please Him. Right. Self has to be crucified. Be on the cross for Jesus. Hallelujah. To be glorified in our life. 
we should pray every day, not my will, Lord, but let your will, will be, be done, done this Amen. day. Amen. Amen. So that uh, we continue to ask God to help us to do his will and put our will on the cross. So true. Amen. Amen. Hear the scripture, please. Well, as we are, we're reading 1 John 22 to 24. So I read the 22nd verse, and the 23rd verse says, And this is his commandment, that we should believe on the name of his Son, Jesus Christ, and love one another as he gave us commandment. And he that keepeth his commandments dwelleth in him, and he in him, and hereby we know that he abideth in us by the Spirit which he has given us. See? So it's by the Spirit of the Lord that we, yeah. he abides in us, we abide in him, but the Spirit of the Lord won't be there to help us Amen. or to help us to please God if we grieve him or vex him by by doing the opposite of, which is Holy, displeasing. Because the Holy Spirit will help her. Thank you, Jesus. Once you miss the mark, cry out for mercy. He will show mercy on us. If you're not going to throw you away, he loves you, he cares for you. You have to remember that the manifestation of the Spirit is given to profit to every man. Holy Spirit is the whole manifest. He's the Father's love, Jesus' love to us, hallelujah, as we continue to keep his Amen. word. You see, that's how we please him. You cannot please him on your own. We need a helper. And the name is the Holy Spirit. So you can be blessed, be a blessing, hallelujah, as you continue to please God, the Father, God, the Son, God, the Holy Spirit, on Amen. a continual basis. Amen, that's right. Amen. It's not a struggle, it's willingness, it's cooperating, it's responding to the truth you know. Don't despise the truth you know. Surrender your will, your way, and your time to the Lord and let God be manifest in your life so you can Amen. receive That's the right. blessing and be made a blessing to multitude, blessing to yourself, to your family. Thank you, Lord Jesus, so you can God. enjoy Amen. God and be made a blessing to multitude because God cares for you, He loves you. Don't let your religion or tradition hinder you. Amen. Praise Amen. the living God. So let's turn to Romans 8, verse 8. Well, actually, we'll start at the 6th verse. It says, For to be carnally minded is death, but to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. So if we are spiritually minded, then we'll have life and peace, or we're going to be able to please God because we're spiritually minded. Amen. But if you're carnally minded, you can't please God because the flesh can't please God it's true. but the Spirit of the Lord in you and you yield to the Spirit of the Lord then that'll that's what pleases God Amen. verse 7 because the carnal mind is enmity against God for it is not subject to the law of God neither indeed can be so then they that are in the flesh cannot please God see they say it right here there those that are in the flesh cannot please God what's your flesh anyway your flesh is part of you where God is not controlling. That's your flesh. It's Amen. a human nature which is controlled by self will, which is controlled by selfishness, self centeredness. This is your flesh. And you want to find out how that the works of flesh is? Read Galatians chapter 5. Hallelujah. Praise the living God. From verse 17 onward, there are 17, money, 17 works of the flesh. If you are operating in that, you cannot please the Holy Spirit. And that's, that's why right. you cannot receive His blessing. So we have to put our flesh under subjection. Amen. Through the help of the Holy Spirit. The Bible says, Mortify the deeds of the body and set our affection on things above. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So we see how important we need to keep our flesh on the cross. That's right. And let the Spirit and the Word and the blood just continue to bless us to be me a blessing. Amen. Because when you uh, please God, you're going to be so blessed. Amen. That's, uh, and you're going to be able to receive and walk and love, forgiveness. All the, the manifestation of the gifts of the Spirit will, will be manifest in your life. And you'll be able to please God. Amen. That's so true. Now let's go to Galatians chapter 1, verse 10. So Galatians 1.10 reads... For do I now persuade men or God, or do I seek to please men? For if I yet please men, I should not be the servant of Christ. You see? See? So, so in order to serve and please God, you have to serve, obey His word. That's right. You see? But if you don't obey His word, there's no way you can serve Him. See? Yes. You cannot please Him. It says, if I, for if I yet pleased men, I should not be the servant of Christ. Yeah. So we can't be men pleasers. No. It says it so plainly right there. Yeah. You have to please God and not men. 
Because if you're afraid to um, act on what God tells you to do, then you're disobedient, and all disobedience is sin. See. So therefore, you have to repent and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him and for not being obedient to what He's, he's told you to do, or for, for being disobedient for not walking in the Word. And He's, he's more than able to forgive you. Hey, Jesus died on the cross, shed His blood, that we can have forgiveness and be and stay in fellowship with the Father. So the how we continue to stay in fellowship and intimacy with the Lord is by pleasing Him on an ongoing basis. Amen. Amen. That's so true. What to preach or what to share so right on. So what else can we do? Hallelujah. Not to get rid of, not to, not to please ourselves. We have to recognize the work of the flesh and stay away from it and put in the new man. Amen. That's Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Then, when once the flesh is crucified, it's on the cross, then Christ can be risen in you, the Holy Spirit can be risen in you, so you can do things to please God. That's right. And bring delight to God. But please, we bring delight, we bring joy to Him. We worship Him, we serve Him, we don't serve ourselves. We yield to the prompting of the Holy Spirit. We are led and controlled by the Holy Spirit. As you control to choose, God's will, God's way, God's timing. That's why we please Him. Hallelujah. And God will become pleased with us. Because we bring pleasure and delight and comfort to God. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Okay. So let's read um, Galatians chapter 2, verses 19 to 21. It says, Forth I through the law am dead to law, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live, yet not I but Christ liveth in me, Man. and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Man. I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Amen. So we see how important we need to take, we need to be serious in pleasing God. When you set your mind, your heart, to please God, Holy Spirit will help you. But if you, are, if you have a divided attention, you see, you have doubt, unbelief, and all those in your heart, repent and get rid of them. Yes. And be full of the presence of the Lord and let the Holy Spirit work in you, both to will and to do His pleasure, so they can continue to please Him. Once you are doing the pleasure of the Holy Spirit, we are pleasing Him. Because He's a helper. Amen. He's the who does things in and through our life because we ask, because we are cooperating, we are responding to the blessed Holy Spirit. We are not resisting Him, or quenching, or vexing, or provoking. We are accepting Him. Amen. To live and guide us. That's right. To His child. We are all children of the Holy Ghost. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. What else? Well, there's another scripture we can read. It's Hebrews 11, verse 6. Let's see. Let's see what Hebrews says here. Amen. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. And it reads, But without faith it is impossible to please him. For he that cometh to God must believe that he is, and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. What Amen. is faith anyway? Faith is confident in God, confident in his word. Without faith it is impossible to please him. And faith Amen. comes by hearing, hearing by the word of God. Whenever God speaks to us, that is faith. Once we surrender and cooperate and walk in the Word, yes. we are pleasing the Holy Spirit. Amen. We are pleasing the Father. We are pleasing Jesus. We are pleasing the Holy Spirit. We are not called to please ourselves, please other people. We are, we are called to continue to please the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit in willing obedience to their prompting, the leadership, to the instruction they give to us. Yes. Because the Holy Spirit is in you as a child of God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. He's a comforter, and he's been sent to help us be everything God wanted to be. By pleasing God the Father, by pleasing God the Son, by pleasing the Holy Spirit, hallelujah, Amen. so that he can continue to work in earth, both to work and be a good pleasure. You can be blessed, so you can be a blessing. Man, because he, uh, and how you are blessed, because he says, he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. So when you're pleasing God, you're actually seeking him. Because you want to, seeking God is uh, 
want to know about him, know about his word, how you can please please him. So when you're seeking him and you're doing what's right and pleasing him, then you're going to be rewarded. Amen. So there's the blessings will start, keep rolling. Amen. So you want the blessings to continue to to go continue to go on in your life and that's how we do it we continue to please god always amen amen praise uh, the lord praise so let's the lord. um let's if, take this time to praise the lord we give you all the praise we praise your name we worship you lord we bless your name hallelujah hallelujah so if we want to invite those that don't know jesus as our lord and savior to um accept him as our Lord and Savior. He's done so much for us that we want today's your day. Amen. Amen. So if you pray this prayer with us, say, Lord Jesus. Lord Jesus. I ask you right now. I ask you right now. To forgive me for all my to sins. forgive for all my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my heart. And save me. And save me. And make me your child. And make me your child. I believe. I believe. That you died on the cross. That you died on the cross. For my sins. For my sins. And you rose again. And you rose again. On the third day. On the third day. And you are the Son of God. And you are the Son of God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. For saving me. For saving me. And cleansing me. And cleansing me. From all unrighteousness. From all unrighteousness. Right now. Right now. Thank you for your blood. Thank you for your blood. That cleanses me. That cleanses me. And covers me. And covers me. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's Praise God. It's a wonderful prayer. Praise God. Amen. So do we, now that you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, there's another level. To be filled with the Holy Spirit. Amen. See, so when you are born again, which you just pray, for, if you pray this prayer with us, you see Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. The Spirit of Christ is indwelling you. The Holy Spirit is indwelling you right now. But He want to, you want to yield all your members to Him so He can fill you and baptize you. Hallelujah. To another level. With the evidence speaking another tongue. I want to pray for the people, please. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we just pray right now. We ask you to fill and baptize the fresh everyone in the viewing and listening audience of the sound of our voice right now fill them up lord right now in jesus name amen amen and, and we want to pray also for you to be baptized with the holy ghost and fire with the fire of god we will lose the fire yes, of god to lord. come down upon you so be a shining and burning light for the lord hallelujah amen. thank you lord thank you lord jesus those who want to prosper stretch your hand towards us we release the spirit of prosperity upon you it's god's way for you to <laughs> prosper Glory be to God and be in health. <coughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lord, we give you praise. Lord, we give you glory. We give you honor. We praise you, Lord. We praise you, Lord. We magnify your name. Hallelujah. <coughs> Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify Thank and you, bless your name forever and ever and ever. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We send the word of God to you to be made whole. It's God's will for you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prosper. Amen. Take the word, believe, and run with it. In Jesus' name. I want to pray for people who are sick. Father God, we send the word of God to our audience right now to receive healing, miracle. We bind the enemy in infirmity, sickness to lose them and let it go. In Jesus' name. We speak peace and health and wellness and wholeness. To our audience in the mighty name of Jesus, through the power of the Holy Spirit, living God. Lord, we give you praise, we give you glory. Some of you have a problem with your uh, elbow. Jesus is healing you right now. Amen. Jesus is healing people with deaf, deafness. Receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Start do anything you couldn't do before. Remember, we are not the healer. Jesus is the healer. Hallelujah. Amen. There's then, many of you have have low back pain. Amen. Lord, show me low back pain. The Lord's healed you from that back pain right now. Receive it in Jesus' name. Someone you have long condition out there, God's healing you. Remember whether you call your condition or not, Amen. reach out to Jesus. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's alive. He's a healer. Say this, Jesus, you are my healer. Jesus, you are my healer. You are my blesser. You are my blesser. You are my provider. You are my provider. Jesus. Jesus. I believe in you. I believe in you. I receive you. I receive you. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I decree the word of the Lord. I decree the word of the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So you have been having problems with your stomach, your stomach ulcer. Jesus is healing you. If you press your stomach, you feel that the tenderness is all gone because Jesus loves you. 
there's someone you um, you avoid in car accident, and uh, and the insurance company was trying to rip you off. We send the word of God to you to be made whole. So however it's due to you, will be paid to you in full. Amen. Will not be ripped off, because God loves you. In Jesus' name, we decree and declare. Some of you have been having problem with your with your knees. If you have a broken knees. The knee cap. It's been it's been healed right now. Amen. There are someone we are watching as you have metal rod in your body. Jesus is removing them right now and restoring with bones. God speak Amen. to you. Thank you, Jesus. Honey. There's many that have arthritis in their bodies. The Lord's healing you from that arthritis. And also other aches and pains in your body. They traveling aches and pains that are in your body. Rebuke the pain right now in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We give you all the Isn't praise. Isn't God good? Hallelujah. Yes, he is. God is super good. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you for your loving kindness and your tender mercy. We bless your name, Lord. Yes. Thank you, Lord Jesus. The son of your throat cancer. God is healing you. God is healing you because he loves you. He cares for Amen. you. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Several one day, hallelujah. You are concerned for your children. Because your children are rebellious. Just love them unconditionally. Right. There are someone, many there who are who are, who are there, you're having more marriage problem. Your spouse has been unfaithful to you. In the mighty name of Jesus, we break the spirit. Separation, yeah, divorce, to lose you right now. In Jesus' name. Someone you have been planning to move out of out of where you are living now. God's going to make the way for you to move out. For the Lord is good, his loving kind and tender mercy. Amen. Amen. Don't look at us, it's not us, it's Jesus who's working through us. Let's give the Lord praise. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Lord we Jesus. give you all Thank the glory, you, all the honor, Thank all the you, majesty. Thank for your Lord. great love, great kindness, great majesty. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, can you bestow upon us in the mighty name of Jesus? Remember, read the gospel of John chapter 8 about pleasing God the Holy Spirit. Read Galatians chapter 2, Galatians chapter 1. Um, first epistle of John, Romans chapter 8, hallelujah. Amen. Read those scriptures, hallelujah. And let God, and Hebrews chapter 11, and let God bless you, bless you, bless you. Remember to start worshiping and praising the Lord. The Lord share anything with you? No, it's that way, if you, as you read the scriptures, God will reveal himself more to you. Amen. And you'll see exactly what we're been sharing today. Amen. Amen. And and remember that God is not mad at you. This is a good day. This is a good year for many of you as you continue to walk in willing obedience. Amen. Take the limit of God. That said the Lord to my children. I am the Lord God Almighty. I am with you. Don't limit me in any way of your life. Let my presence continue to manifest in and through your life. Continue to seek me diligently, and I'll be real and real out there for you. Know that I care for you, my children. I care for you. I care for you. Because yeah. you are my children, and I have my best to give to you. Once you continue to trust me, remember to believe my yes. word. Don't doubt me. Get rid of all doubt, and let me be everything you want me to be, says the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise God.